Okay, uh, so welcome back to this reaction to the season finale of season one of Sex Education. Um, I'm quite excited to to watch this, uh, seeing where they're going with the with the finale, because the main conflict in the season to me was the Otis and Eric friendship, but that got resolved. So I I don't know. I, I literally don't know what to expect. Is it going to be Otis and Maeve that's going to be the theme of this uh, episode? I mm. Or, like, maybe it'll be something with Maven, her brother, or Otis and his mom. Oh, gosh, yes, I'm just remembering. Last episode, uh, it was revealed that Otis's mom is writing a book about her son's uh, issues, her son's uh, sexual dysfunction, and that is not... I, oh, that woman has boundary issues. I am familiar with mothers with boundary issues. <laughs> um, uh, that's uncomfortable. Uh so that could be, uh, I, I I have no idea what the focus of this episode is going to be. It could be that, something with Adam and Eric. I still do not know what's up with that. Uh, like, why Adam, Adam has such a problem with Eric makes no sense. Adam has a problem with everybody, and I know he's got a really, really crappy home life. I kind of don't care, because a lot of people have crappy home lives. I, I don't care. But um, I I don't know, maybe something will get revealed there, and Adam can can get, become a better person, because there's focusing so much on him that I feel like that has to be his arc. Uh, it has to be. They can't just be like, oh, he's a sympathetic bully, because I'm not sympathizing with him. I really, I'm not at all. Uh, so maybe there'll be an arc there, but I don't know. I, I, no idea what this episode is going to focus on, so I'm just going to want to watch it and find out. Uh, so... Let's go. Let's be nerdy. 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 That's a a growl. Is that a snore? Oh. Okay, so she's like living out the fantasy from the the comic that she's been drawing. I mean, what is the setting in which they're doing this? Like, what? Nothing. Try again. What is happening here? <laughs> what is happening here? Did she build this room? Yeah. I mean, okay. I'm more focused on, like, did she build a sex room? I mean, of all, all people who would do that. But, like, did she, like, create this setting for her to live out her ultimate fantasy? But, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, what's happening in her bits? Curious. Ola's not going to want to talk to you after what you said to her, honey. Uh, this is so... <laughs> Oh, you're printing it out. I was like, what? I, I, you could just read it on the computer. I was like, what is he doing? That does not look like a comfortable position to be sleeping in. Oh, he's on, in the office. Or somewhere. Where is he sleeping? I'm gonna go train in. He's gonna say he's sleeping through his practices, isn't he? The whole, like, I love you thing. I was seriously the, wasted. The bomb that you dropped? <laughs> so I don't expect you to like say it back or anything, yeah? Dead? Oh, I thought he was asleep. Mm hmm. Oh. Nice. Nice makeup there. Not talking to your mom, are we? Understandable at this point, to be honest. Let's talk about this in a calm and rational way. Let's not talk calm, about how not I crossed all these boundaries and I'm exposing we'll all of your intimate details today. to the world. Is this about your mom's book? Oh, no, I mean, uh, it's only they must have been uh, heavily researched, texting about detailed it. Detailed accounts of raising a sexually repressed 16 year old boy. Anyway, I thought you called her a house cat. Yeah, I also, also called her a goat. A house cat and a goat. Do you like Ola? Someone like Maeve is never going to be interested in me. But you made a comparison. She is a and... lioness. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Therefore, Ola is a house cat. Wow. It's terrible. 
Otis, you know, for a sex therapist, you are surprisingly insensitive. Thanks, Anwar. There's I love really you. no need to respond. To oh, Eric, you could do better than Anwar. He's a bit of a dick. We'll have bad days, you know. But in every cloud, there is a rainstorm. No, well, sorry, that's right. Uh, there is what? a rainbow in every cloud. <laughs> no, oh gosh, this is just not. Basically, none of this is working. It's all in the past. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. You punch somebody in the face, so yeah. Oh my gosh, does he think she's the drug dealer? I know all about your drug ring. No. They're not mine. These are study drugs, so they're not. Well, you seem to know an awful lot about them, considering you had absolutely nothing to do with it. I just know what they Did are. Did you and your little friend get them from your brother? Beware the wild female. Oh, goodness. They will chew you up and spit you out. Like and then scales. call women females. Yes. Such a red flag. Such a red flag. Oh, she's still mad about the having given advice to. I don't want to have sex with you, Jackson. Neither do I. Bah. You were bad. I didn't tell anyone about what happened. You kind of owe me. I mean, you don't owe somebody for not revealing their intimate secrets. The crisis of masculinity, and this feels potentially quite zeitgeisty. Is there more to read? Yes. Oh dear, I thought maybe she would back off because her son was oh no. Can I get back to you on that? No, back off because this is not okay. Don't take too long though. I won't. Do you have another plumbing emergency? Is he just not a very good plumber? Is this is this what we're dealing with? He's a sexy Swede, but he's not a good plumber. I do not want to be your handyman. There are other plumbers, hopefully, in this small town. So what seems to be... My vagina has betrayed me. Oh, they're okay. back to the confessional set. How exactly? Interesting. The set, the costumes, the makeup, everything was perfect. <laughs> okay, so she did have a set. Notes, like my badge has lockjaw. I guess I am kind of type A. A little bit. You are trying to control Maybe. this whole situation. You're unconsciously halting your progress. Uh, no, you have company. Oh god, it is him. Okay. Yep. Of course. And you'll okay. leave them unsupervised, because that's just the way to do it. Leave him with his bully. He's very worried. He's wearing a very low oh, shirt. Get to work. <laughs> like, what is that shirt that he's wearing? Mmm, <laughs> a lot. Quite nice. <laughs> it was kind of a flimsy lock. Yeah. You are not to shut me out. Volume button argument. You're a hypocrite. Sneaky. Sneaky woman. That is a vast over exaggeration. Not really. Not really. It's... This is becoming hostile now, Otis. He was pretty like that was some excellent communication on Otis's part. If the book gets published, uh, of course I will change your name. It's not Everyone the point. will know Mom, that it's... Oh, doesn't matter. I thought you were finally listening to me, that you will let me be independent. But... Well, you are part of me. No, I'm not, Mum. So, yeah, Sorry, I'm just thinking, like, because there is a point where you just, you separate. It must be hard as a parent to... I don't know, I'm not a parent, but to let that happen. Um, Ooh, she is going to talk to you. At my door. Um, I am surprised. Did you get my text? It said, uh, hello. You're incredibly verbose, verbose text. <sighs> Might be annoying, but at least she cares. These are two separate types of okay. parental problems. It's Maybe very hard to compare. I need to go talk to my idiot brother. I've been thinking about her brother over this time. Like, what is it? I keep, well, I keep saying he's one of those, and I can't figure out what to call him. He, he's, he seems almost like offended, offended when people are succeeding where he fails. 
right? So he keeps trying to bring people down. It's just saying, you know, oh, Jackson doesn't drink? Oh, come on, drink with me. Like, that's the feeling. You want to get baked? Yeah, like he keeps trying to bring people to his level. Upstreet's game at school. <laughs> so he's like, this is the reaction. Oh, like, you're serious. That's the opposite reaction a it's sibling should have to their si sibling doing well. Astrophysics and shit. If I get in. I'm really proud of you, sis. Thanks. That's how a sibling should react. But I do have a feeling he would end up sabotaging it. I just, I don't trust him at all. Sorry, there's a poster on her wall that says lesbians on ecstasy and I am very distracted about everything else in this. What? What is that? Is that a band? Is that a book? I'm, what? Lesbians on ecstasy? I need to know more. Oh, there's Otis's sweater. Were you born a bully or are you one because your dad's one? I saw you at the dance. I mean, you were terrified of him. More, oh, the fight. I was going to say, you more than saw him at the dance. You talked to him. I my own dad. Sorry. Yeah, that was some aggressive movements. I'm Sorry, a little worried about what Adam's going to do to you. How do you like it? Is there about to be a kiss here? I did not think we were dealing with a, a closeted gay bully thing. I I kind of thought we had jumped that trope. I was not anticipating this in the slightest. You can do better than Adam, too, Eric. I want you to be with a decent guy. Oh, wow. Which is why you are going to ride down this hill. Is vaginismus like a psychological, psychological issue or is it a physiological issue? Because there's a physiological issue you? that, like, you, I mean, no amount of or therapy, but it's literally a you physiological no issue. Touch your penis. Um, Maybe I don't we know. Do it together. <laughs> I can't wait for that! <laughs> This would terrify me. Ah, I think that was my hymen! <laughs> my hymen. Okay. Got a helmet, you're fine. Oh, I did? No, you're alive. You seem desperate. Does it have sex? I don't it know isn't, why. like, yeah, desperation is the word, yeah. What is it? Cool, and I won't have had sex. And, and then this will be a problem I'll go because. To uni and I'll be behind everyone. Why? And no one will have sex with me because I just want to over with. Making se like making sex a landmark on this really journey feels so it. silly. Yeah, some people are, but. All right, so Adam's problem with Eric has probably been all this time that he's attracted to him. I really thought we had somehow skipped this, like that first episode where he was not into the sex with Amy. I kind of was like, oh, well, he's not gay. I guess he could be bi, but I really thought we had skipped that. Are we really getting a risky business scene? <laughs> Why? It was very boring. <laughs> Nothing weird happened. It was very average detention. <laughs> very aggressive answer, Eric. <laughs> Tells Otis that something obviously happened. Oh, these people. Nobody's talking to each other, and they all need to talk to each other. Please tell Including her lesser-known work, Lady Susan, which is a severely underrated piece of feminist literature. I've never read Lady Susan. What? It isn't... Um, barely remembered as a philosophical... Lady Susan. I have to look this up. I, I also wrote the paper that won really your son an award. I just got unlucky in the family department. You are barred from campus. Barred from campus? The this is a school. To stop them opening in the wrong direction. <laughs> Bar a child from school unless the they have... Uh, I time, guess Adam, it's they, the think, day I eat my hat. they think she dealt Take drugs, but still. There's one next to your detention, pal, Eric. Underlay, where was I? Oh, yes, His vowels, shirts are yeah. so low. So, yeah, the sound <laughs> of the vowels close out these things here. The oh, are we going to get that, like, finger touch thing? Oh, 
that they are flirting under the table. I don't! I want Eric to be with a guy who, like, hasn't bullied him for years and made him feel like shit. That's what I would like. Or a guy who acknowledges that that's what happened. Oh, like a pop. Oh, God. Okay. <sighs> Do look like nothing. You can't expel her. Want me to swim, then she stays. All right. Bargaining chip, I guess. Oh, well. Back to the caravan. Amy, park. don't hang out with Maybe them. They're all me. awful. Uh, they're looking for a new cleaner. Why are you with them, Amy? Thank you. What the hell are you doing? Thank you. I'm dumping you. For her. Good. Are you mental? A slag. Neither. It just sounded good. Mm -hmm. Let's keep walking. Good. Hang out with decent people. Life is too short to be friends with people you don't like. It's a, really changed since you it's a very changed. brightly colored band-aid to put on your forehead. I thought that it might help me to understand you better. That's so messed up. Okay, I'm just going to point something out here because I, I just had a very long talk focused. about costumes in the Wheel of or Time with someone. And I just commented on the brightly colored people. bandit that he's ha ha he has on his forehead. It's oddly brightly colored. It's matching her outfit. I am all those things, Mum. And, and I'm wondering if that might be intentional awful. to show the connection between them. A lot of it's Dad's fault, but mostly it's just it's me. Yeah, I do think that's intentional because they are rebuilding their connection and that band-aid is like a visual cue that it's happening. You can go! Get out of here! Jazz lovers speed dating event, okay. Uh, he was getting himself all pretty for, for detention. Madam? Madam, come here! Come here! Ah, you found the dog! Sean. So Otis has the trophy. I'm assuming he's going to try and bring it to Maeve. Did her brother just leave? Is his dad wearing a military? No, that's not his dad. Somebody's wearing a military uniform. Just. I'm going to make me go. Oh, uh, military school. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's... gosh, he's aggressive. My fear is if he found out that we were in a relationship, he'd just never forgive me. That would be very, very awkward. But they're about to kiss and have sex again, aren't they? Yep. Yep. I really like cats. House cats, in particular. Oh, I like Lord. them way more than lions. Just be a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm flirting with the yes, I can the see that cashier. So cute. I'm gonna walk you home. She does have a very direct manner, indeed. I have some really interesting thoughts about me and Jeffrey's marital problems. Ah, that would be Otis. Okay, so Otis brought the trophy. You see my brother. And then oh yeah, he told me to pass something on to you. And then he went to try and pick up Ola. Tell Maeve to stop hanging around with a bunch of geeks talking about astrophysics and shit. Up with him. Yeah, and if he's passing on that message, she's leaving. I mean, why else is he passing on that message? Jonathan. Very nice hat for the cat. I don't take bribes. Oh. I suggest you forget about Maeve Wiley. You are a dick. Mr. Roth. There he is! He actually scratched it off so he can't return it now. <laughs> uh, so is she gonna go try and pick him up and he's gonna be with another girl? This is like a... What's that? Ross, Rachel, Julie situation? Are you with me? Even, I mean, not like my girlfriend. Yeah. It's, it's too oh, this is odd, but... Uh, no pressure. Just, She's very direct. I think she would like, like this. Significant other than, well, that sounds like marriage. <laughs> I don't want to get married. Yeah. There you go. Figured that was the way that was going to happen. I think. Don't, don't talk. You'll ruin it. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. 
woken the beast. You have a friend who's not going to hide being your friend now. If it's the last thing I do. Okay. So we opened with with a with a wank. Are we going to close with one two? Just the other half of that friendship. <laughs> the visual there is kind of funny. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so the resolution is in this episode, which I do believe is the season finale of season one, um, is, <laughs> is between Otis and his penis. Yay, they have resolved their issues, kind of, I guess. I mean, I'm assuming not completely, because <laughs> there's at least two more seasons of this show. But okay, so that's good. Uh, he's with Ola. I feel bad because i have a feeling that they are not end game right so it's setting her up she's this great girl she's direct she's upfront she's honest she's she's a great person and i feel like she's just going to be pushed aside when Maeve comes to the forefront like i'm feeling bad for her already watching this happen and i'm just like eh. yeah yeah no you're you're going to get pushed aside there was a a video i watched the other day uh oh. What's it called? The disposable black woman, where often, uh, I think that's what it was called, where a character will be shown to be in a relationship with a black woman who is like a stopgap on the way to the white woman. I don't think that is like, there's a, there's a lot of diversity in this show, but it just, that's what I feel like. I, I wasn't even thinking disposable black woman because she is black. I was thinking she's a disposable woman. She's like a step on his way to Maeve. And I'm feeling bad for her because that's who she is. I think, I'm assuming, the show could surprise me because it has surprised me a few times. Um, but yeah, Adam and Eric, I, uh, I don't like it. Like, it's such a trope that I find myself falling for it. But if I step back from it for a second, I the reason I don't want him with Anwar is because Anwar treats him like a dick. Anwar is an asshole. Adam has been an asshole this entire time. And I don't like this thing where, no, the reason he's treating you badly is because he likes you. I don't like that as a, as a story that we tell because it allows people to dismiss bad behavior. And it makes people accept abuse because, well, no, it's because he likes me. T typically, the abuse tends to come from men in that story. Like, gay, straight, whatever, you very rarely hear, oh, the reason she's being mean to you is because she likes you. I, I don't know that I've ever, like, I don't know that I've ever heard anybody say that about a woman or a female character in a book or story or movie or whatever. But, uh, so I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I do think it's obviously not the end, right? There's going to be more to this story. But, uh, yeah, okay. I, I, and I was completely shocked by it. Like, I did not anticipate it because I had been under the impression that Adam was straight. Adam is bi or gay or pan. Like, he is interested in men, obviously, and obviously very interested in Eric. So, there's that. Jean. Jean needs to work on her boundaries. She said that she is going to... I kind of don't trust her at this point. Like... Knowing that Otis doesn't want her to sleep with Ola's dad, she's gone and done it anyway. Like, I don't trust her. I'm pretty sure she's going to keep working on the book uh, and keep crossing boundaries. It's just, yeah. I love Julian Anderson, though, but I do not trust Jean. Mm -mm -mm. Think Maeve's brother's just up and left? Like, why would you leave a message like that if you just, like, went for a little bit and are coming back? That's a, That was a goodbye message. So he's gone for a while, uh, came in, sort of blew up her life, and then left. So... That's a that's a healthy situation. Uh, Mr. Groff, whatever his name is, I forget, but whatever. The headmaster Groff is an asshole. Uh, promising something and then reneging on it is a is a, a dickish thing to do. Um, and yeah, so Maeve's uh, Maeve's gonna be screwed uh, for next season. And yeah, okay, this is a season finale. There is some closure. I definitely want to know what's gonna happen next. Oh, this is a good show. This is a good show. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. I, I Am I right? I'm just going to double check, make sure that this is the season finale. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely the season finale. So, okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> very, 
Uh, all right. I will see what what happens uh, with the next season when it starts. And apparently, there's going to be a fourth season. I don't know. It's, I'm just seeing here. It's official. Another season is coming. I don't know. That's just what's up on Netflix right now. I, huh. I, I don't know. I kind of was thinking it was ending because obviously Shudi Gatwa is going on to be the doctor. Is he going to be filming the do, uh, Doctor Who and this? Or has he left by the end of the show? Because wait, there's 16, 17, 18, like, huh. All of this doesn't work. Okay, yeah, unstuck in time, unstuck in, stuck in space. Because British schools don't work like that. They have, like, form, and then you go to d different... I don't know, British schools are... I don't... British schools work in a completely different way. They work similar to schools in my... I was about to say where I'm from, but, like, the country that I was born in. They... Because it was a British colony, so they worked like that. And I get confused by that, because I did not go to school there. I moved to Canada and went to school in Canada. Um, huh. Because, yeah, I was just going to say, they're 16, 17, 18. After 18, they would be going off to university, so I would assume that would be when the show ends. But if it's working like a British school, then they should actually be leaving, I think, next year? Right? Ah, British school is weird. Okay. Anyway, I, I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop talking now and uh, see what happens in the next episode. Uh, but let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments. And uh, if you like my content and want to support me, you can check out my Patreon, uh, which will be linked in the description below. Uh, thank you, as always, to my patrons. Really so grateful for you all. And uh, with that, I will end this here. So please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>